Dickie Shakun, plus his wife, who's even association with Macron Jim Marbella. We're in Castle and here for the Hennessy show with me. I've got Tyson Fury. Oh, have I got to label you the. That's all right, love. Have I got to label you what you are? Yeah. The unified heavyweight champion in the world, Tyson Fury, in Carl Shorten. It's going off tonight and all. I know. What did you make of what happened in the ring first of all? It was a good little fight. It was a very entertaining little fight. Definitely a very good for TV. Um, the both fighters give it their all, and you know, there was a clash of heads at the end. And one of the, the away fighter got the decision. That was all that happened. Did you see the clash of heads? Was it deserved? I didn't happened? see the clash of heads, to be honest. No. But um, unlucky for Lenny Dawes, he's, you know, he's been around for a long time and uh, it just wasn't to be his night tonight. It wasn't his night, but you know, it was a close fight and I thought he was, I thought he was winning it, to be honest, before he stopped the, stopped the fight. Uh, if it would have went the distance, I'm sure Lenny would have got the decision, but that's no, it's all in the past now, that, isn't it? Tyson, awesome. what's Coogan's you up with that jacket on? Hey, Is he up with that jacket on? Are you up with the jacket on? Yes, and the hat. And the hat as well. Has it, uh, has it been a taxing week for you this week or not? It has and it hasn't, to be honest. It has because of all the stuff I've had to do, the media obligations and all that, but it hasn't because it's all expected. But the media, the negative stuff you've had this week, that hasn't been expected surely, or was it? I'm not really interested, to be honest. They can say what they want about me, but they can't knock me achievement, can they? I beat the man who nobody could beat. So, until somebody can go in and beat him again, 23 title defences, then they can suck my balls. How about that? For a bit of heavyweight champion talking. Do you think the shine has been taken a little bit off your win because of the I'm not, really, I'm not really interested, to be honest, about what shine and whatever they want to do. You know, it is what it is. I am Tyson Fury, Gypsy King, champion of the world. Enough said. What do you make of the IBF situation, Tyson? I'm not really bothered. I don't know what's going on with it all. I'm not really getting involved in it. I'm just out of boxing at the moment. I'm a leisurely type of guy at the moment. Just doing more leisurely things rather than boxing things. So that, that belt, hasn't you haven't had to vacate it yet or will you, will you be doing that? I've not even had any of the belts yet. I've not even got them yet. I don't know where they are. They must be in transit. I know you, listen, I know you said the other day after the press conference that you just wanted a little bit of time to yourself, but obviously being the heavyweight world champion doesn't always go that way. People will be asking you questions, but as far as you know about this, are you willing to drop that IBF belt if you have to? Uh, not really, no. I've won it and I want to defend it. Klitsch goes the, uh, the man, so I've got a rematch with him. I've signed a contract rematch clause. How can he strip me for signing a rematch clause? Which Klitschko wouldn't have even thought of when he didn't sign the colours anyway. So. Klitschko took about 48 hours to come to the decision that he would rematch you. He announced it via his Instagram. Are you surprised that he didn't take that long to decide that? Not really. It is what it is there, Coogan, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he done what he had to do and uh, hopefully he'll get a bigger beating in the uh, rematch than he did in the first time. It wasn't even a close fight, so usually rematches only happen um, when the first fight's close. And in my eyes, it wasn't a close fight. Um, <laughs> the, Tyson, the, the press also picked up on some other stories this week about your comments towards women, etc., etc. Um, I believe you tweeted Jessica Ennis yourself. Yeah. Um, do you believe you actually said anything that bad? If giving a woman a compliment saying she looks good in a dress is bad, then I'll just repeat it again. Women look good in dresses. Do you want me to say it again? Women look good in dresses. Shall I say it one more time? Women look good in dresses. And if I'm going to get um, in trouble for that, I'll say it again. Women look good in dresses. You know, men don't look good in dresses. Women do. And what? Is that bad, Coogan? No. You Absolutely say it. not. Women look good in dresses. Why that is that bad? That goes for my mother. Goes for everybody. My girlfriend. Whoever. Yeah. So why should it not be for sport? A sportswoman not allowed to look nice in dresses. Are they not allowed to do that? Do they have to be like um, track like men all the time? But the story was put out to make you look like you were making sexist comments. Oh, what? What's the sexist comments? Like they look good in dresses? I don't know. I genuinely, genuinely don't if, know. Because I, I'm a little bit backward. I didn't really go to school. So, which part of a woman looks good in a dress was sexist? No part. Or was it about the cooking and cleaning? There was a comment about that as well. That's right, I stand up for my beliefs. 
My wife's there. Her, her job's cooking and cleaning, looking after these kids, that's it. No other. And she does get to make some decisions, what she's going to cook me for tea in a bit when I get home. You know, that's me decisions, what she gets to make, but, you know, that's just my beliefs. Just like I believe in Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Saviour. And if anybody wants to dispute that, let them do it. Am I bothered? No. Am I going to denounce Christ or go against my religion for some, some idiot who's writing a newspaper? Never. What's your view on the petition? 50,000 strong, class? 50,000 wankers, mate. That's what I say about them. And if anybody else wants to add to them, they can add to the, the numbers, can't they? But the BBC haven't taken any notice. You're still in the nomination process, so... Listen, I can honestly say... The, uh, I'm not really interested in winning BBC Sports Personality of the Year. I know, for a million percent, I've got more personality in the end of that little finger than the whole nomination group put together. And everybody knows that. Everybody in the country knows that. I've got more personality in my little toe than they've all got put together. So, if it comes to personality, there's only one winner. If it comes to sporting achievements, there's only one winner. You know, you, what, what personality does it take to drive a, a, a car around a track hundred times? Or hit a ball back and forth? It's not very personality, is it? You tweeted the other day in jest about not being a role model, someone else should have it? Yeah, I believe that they should give it to somebody else. Give it to whoever's got the best personality out of all of us. <laughs> Coogan, truthful now, who should win that? There's only one personality in this country, isn't there? Oh, you get the best personality athlete, yeah, in the country, and we'll set them side by side, and we'll do interviews, and we'll see who's interviews better. As a role model, though, seriously, you, you, you tweeted about people you not being a role model. People should look up to me, young kids. I am a good role model. I show how men should really be, real men. I and, and, you. and kids can take, take note from that. I am a role model. Lots of kids look up to me. Has this week taught you anything about yeah, being it's different? Taught, it's taught me that when you're at the top of the world, everybody wants to bring you down. But they're never going to do it. Will you change your ways? What ways? My ways that... Um, Certain things you talk about, I'm just asking. Uh, my belief... Oh, thank you, sir. My beliefs that my, uh, my wife should be uh, at home looking after my kids and cooking and cleaning. She's a very privileged woman to have an husband like me. You know, not everyone's in her position, but the ones who are are very lucky. And that, that's my opinion. Do you regret doing that interview with Daddy Mel? No, because it shows you what type of paper they are and what type of sports editor he is. You don't regret nothing I about that? I don't regret that. anything. The stuff you were talking about, you don't regret none of it? I don't, because it's all true. If it was lies, if it was lies, then it would uh, it'd be bollocks, wouldn't it? But it's all true. The Bible don't tell lies, does it? So if I'm a Christian, a devout Christian, then I have to believe what the, what the scriptures tell me. I know you don't care, but do you believe there is like a kind of witch hunt against you by like just about every know. single national newspaper? Don't know, and I don't care. The only thing I know is Jesus is the saviour and the answer. The A to Z, the Alpha and the Omega. Whoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ and repents for his sins will be saved. All praise be to the almighty God. That's all I've got to say. And on that note, do one. Thank you very much, Sergeant Fury.